<laughs> oh my God, I am so hungover from the Oscar party last night. Oh, I'm going to do nothing but lie in bed all goddamn day. Don't you have that film pig fake trailer sketch to write? Oh, fuck me! Oh, God! <laughs> Okay, all right, let's see what's opening. Um, Oz, okay, uh, Todd can play Franco. Uh, I'll, I'll play Michelle Williams in a dress. No, last time I dressed as a woman, I, I, I liked it too much and then I felt really weird all week. God damn it, my head hurts so much. Writing is so hard. How's the sketch coming, honey? I got nothing, I want to die. Well, why don't you just write what you know? This is a sketch for the film pigs, you giant dummy. You don't understand anything about writing. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can write what I know. <laughs> uh. Hey, hey, got the opening sketch. Oh, is Cosby in it? No, not this one. Hope you like it. Brian wants to see you. Oh. Hey, uh, if it's about the popcorn and the candy, I'll totally replace it. I just get a little hungry. <laughs> it's not that. It's this. A sketch about writing a sketch. Oh yeah, like uh, like adaptation. People like that. That's because he's a good writer, and he did it already. And in it, you make fun of me for doing Cosby all the time. You're the one who, who makes me do Cosby. It's because you, you like to do it so much. Now, this sketch is a piece of shit. Ever since NBC canceled your show before it ever aired, you've been dragging us down. What, what, are, you, what are you saying? You're fired. But... Get... Get... Feels good to kill dreams. Yeah. Weird. No. No? Good. Good. <laughs> Fired from the film pigs. Life has no meaning anymore. What was this limo doing pulling up? Bill Cosby? Son, what are you doing here on the bridge with the thing and the being all sad and the jumping off and that does not make me smile? Uh, I, I, I got fired from my job with this sketch comedy group, Mr. Cosby. What sketch comedy group? Uh, film Pigs. Film Pigs, razzle dazzle, I love the Film Pigs. You do? I do, there's too much Florida and Phil from Florida, but the ginger boy does a good impersonation of me always, makes me smile. Really? You think it's good? Yeah, I do. On second thought, you got fired from the Phil I think you should just go ahead and kill yourself. My God, dude, I had the craziest dream last night. I wrote this sketch and you hated it. Yeah, and then I made Brian fire you and then you showed up the next night anyway, like some fucking lunatic. Wait, how did, 
Ho! Oh. But I didn't write this yet. Or did you? Welcome to the Film Pigs here on Geek Nation. We're the only web show in the world that talks about movies. You can only get it here. It's weird. Only get it here. Uh, I'm Todd Anderson. This is Film Pig Steve Falk. Uh, our Film Pig in Poland, Steve Skelton. He will appear later uh, via his cell phone. And our very special guest is Jonathan Mangum. He's oh. an uh, improv uh, genius. He is an actor and uh, a game show model, right? Yeah, you, I am a model. model. Yes, very, I'm, very I, sexy. I, I'm a talking model. A talking model. Normally they don't let the models talk on the game shows, but he's very, very special. <laughs> so uh, we're glad to have you. Thanks Thank for you, coming. Sir. Thank you. We have our popcorn. Hope you do too, because uh, this show is really not very good unless you enjoy some popcorn. <laughs> mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm. It's a popcorn pitcher. <laughs> it is. <Yeah. laughs> it is. Uh, so we're going to start the show like we do all the time with this thing we call Rash Judgments. We're going to talk about the movies that are coming out this week, tell you whether or not you should see them, uh, even though we ourselves haven't seen them, and in many cases, we'll never see them, because we're, uh, yeah, assholes. Uh, it's just how, it's how we roll. So we're going to start, uh, the big release this week is uh, a prequel to The Wizard of Oz called Oz the Great and Powerful, which it's a prequel to a dream a girl had. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The dream cool. A dream cool. <laughs> uh, so let's go to Steve Skelton, our uh, pig in exile, for uh, his uh, review of that. What's up, Skelton? Oh, hello there. I was just relaxing on my pornofa, and I thought I'd give you a rash judgment. The movie's called Oz, The Great and Powerful, directed by Sam Raimi and starring James Franco. It tells the story of the Wizard of Oz before he became the Wizard of Oz. It looks like it's got a lot of CG in it. It's a big budget Sam Raimi movie, which I'm not a big fan of. And it's got James Franco, who's, let's be honest, been pretty douchey the last few years. I'm not seeing this picture at all. I don't think so. Now, if you'll excuse me. I think I'm just going to stare off into the distance. Ah, okay. Well, uh, all right. I, 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 people think he's not actually in Poland. They think it's a bit. <laughs> what? He's, he's actually in Poland. He's in yeah. Poland. Yeah. It's not a bit. We don't yeah. have it. We have to deal with it. It's but he is in exile. That's true. And now our special guest, uh, Jonathan Mangum, is going to be weighing in on something with Colin somebody. Colin for, Farrell. For that guy. Colin Farrell. It's called Dead Man Down, I believe is what it's called. Is Dead, Dead Man Down? Sure. Why not? Uh, sure. <clears throat> Of all the um, four foot two actors, Colin Farrell is in the top 100. So it's great to see him. Uh, there's lots of explosions, I noticed, and, and everything is in slow motion. Oh, so uh, okay. it might Much like his career. <laughs> exactly. It's a slow motion explosion. Uh, it might be a very long movie if, every, if all the action is in slow motion. Uh, it stars uh, a, a wonderful team of actors, in addition to him, who are in the movie. <laughs> It's an acting troupe. It's, it's an acting troupe. So are you saying people should see it? or? I'm saying watch the trailer and, um, and then watch it again. <laughs> watch the trailer twice. It's like seeing the movie. Uh, there it is, uh, Rash Judgments. Um, now, everybody kind of wants to be a movie star. I don't know, do you want to be a movie uh, star? Do, yes. do you want to be oh, a movie yeah, star? Please, uh, yeah. please. I would like to are be a movie offering? star. No, no, I'm just uh, saying you know, everybody uh, wants. Uh, but when you're starting off in acting, a lot of times you don't get to be in the movies right away. Uh, and you, you, you have to do commercials to get by. And uh, Jonathan Mangum is an expert commercial actor. He's been in uh, how many? Over 
a lot of commercials. Over a lot, a lot of commercials that have played nationally. He's milk. He's has been poured all over him. But uh, he uh, runs this great uh, commercial intensive, <clears throat> and uh, he invited Steve and I to uh, a private version of the intensive, and we captured it on film. So uh, now you get to watch it. Do we have to show this? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. why we shot it. Okay. We, otherwise, it's a waste of uh, Geek Nation's money. Okay. And I don't want to waste anybody's money. All right. Here we go, the commercial intensive with Jonathan May. Hello, and welcome to the commercial actors intensive for men. Now, this is not your father's commercial actor intensive for men. Okay, after this class, you guys are going to be the best actors Hollywood mm -hmm. has ever seen. In commercials, in commercials, in commercials. Guaranteed. Now, when it comes to commercials, a lot of people think it's all about the look. That is a common misconception. There are only three things you need to think about. Number one, the slate is everything. Number two, you must be sexually non-threatening. We're men, okay? So let's use this. Number three, you have to be super happy no matter how much it hurts inside. Okay? Now, if you follow these simple rules, you will be rich commercial actors. And you all know you're only one national commercial away from quitting your job, buying that fancy sports car, and putting a down payment on that house in the Palisades. <laughs> yeah. So who wants to go first? Oh, uh, uh, Tom. Thank you. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to try to maintain rules two and three by just slating your name and showing us your profiles, okay? I'll be the casting director. Name and profiles. Todd Anderson. That was fantastic. That was amazing. That was great. We have a natural here, I think. That was fantastic. You, 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 were, you were really happy to be here, and, and we had no sense that you were horny at all. That was, that was fantastic. Great job. Thank you. Uh, person. <laughs> Steve Falk. the fuck was that? Are you depressed or something? No. Do you want to call your shrink or take some happy pills or something? Because that was pathetic. Okay, I don't care if you are selling cancer itself. You need to be jazzed about being up there. Okay? And hey, please try to remember, sexually non-threatening. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do some copy now. Uh, Tom. This is chocolate. Chocolate is good. Excellent! That was, that was great! It was, see you on the set of the shoot for chocolate. Wow. <laughs> this is chocolate. Chocolate is good. No. Again, chocolate is happiness, uh, okay? This is chocolate. No! What, what about happiness do you not understand? Huh? It's rhetorical. Moving on. I don't wear adult diapers because I'm incontinent. I wear them because they feel good. Wow. Are, you should be teaching me. You should be <laughs> wow. teaching me. Really? No. I don't wear adult diapers because I'm incontinent. I wear them because they feel good. Do you want to rape me? No. Then why are you threatening me sexually? Pervert? Sicko? If I was a rape whistle, I'd be blowing myself right now. Condoms. It isn't just safe, it's sexy. Clap. Clap. Thank you. Condoms. It isn't just safe, it's sexy. Why are you putting all this sex in my head? What are you doing? Well, condoms are sort of about... You are selling condoms, not sex, you sicko. I mean, you, you don't even know what you're doing. You are an affront to all that is good. Really great work, Thomas. Greg, you have a definite future in commercial acting. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I, commercials seem, I don't know, they're kind of beneath me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, do you want to have some dinner? Uh, I, I guess. Okay. Sure, that'd be nice. All right. Uh, well, okay. That's, this is...
Well, that I feel really good about my commercial career now because I learned some stuff from sure this did. guy. This guy knows knows his stuff. You, you got some work to do. That's all. That's all. It's just a little bit of work. Just a little bit of work. It's no big deal. I'm so, learning. Yeah, you're learning. It's yeah. It's just part of the process. Part of the, you got to enjoy the process. It's about the process. Uh, and that's our show. And I would like to thank, of course, the uh, somewhat frustrated and sad Steve Falk. Uh, the guy in Poland, Steve Skelton, uh, and uh, Jonathan Mangum for showing up and teaching us all about how to act in commercials. And uh, I want to thank myself as well because you uh, should. I'm, I'm great. I'm a swell guy. You're great. And great. that's it. So keep watching movies and drinking your popcorn. And uh, we'll see you next time <laughs> on the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. Where can we see this guy? Uh, you can see him on uh, a game show <laughs> called just, Let's uh, Make a Deal. Let's Make a Deal. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Uh, and Wayne Brady. With, with Wayne Brady, Brady. who's uh, also very funny. I guess I heard. That's what I've heard. I don't know. <laughs> uh, he's funny. He Did sings. he take your intensive? Uh, he, he well, yeah. He, he was the first graduate. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. nice, nice. Uh -huh. And he took you along. Is it? That's really I exciting. I feel in good company. Though. That's really exciting. So check him out on that. He's very funny. Uh, it, 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 he's much funnier than it's much funnier than the old. Let's make a deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's way better. Uh, so watch that one and uh, and look for him, of course, on on television shows. You got any TV shows? I do not.